All right, here we are, 6.1.4 lesson sheet. This is uh, 645 Dora's Dollhouse. Sounds familiar, but this is the actual problem from the book. And you'll see why it looks a little bit different now. So Dora's building the dolls for her cousin. She needs several boards that are each three quarters of a foot, just like the last problem. She went to the store and found out that the lumber she needs is only sold in lengths of eight feet. She laid that tape measure. We see that picture below, just like last time again. Part A, work with your team to figure out how many of her three quarter foot boards she can cut from one eight foot piece of wood. Draw a diagram or model to prove. And I just did that just like I did before. That whole board is my eight foot piece, right? And what I have is I divided it into quarters because I know I'm going to need three quarter foot pieces. Well, let's count them out just like last time. Let's see how many we get, right? So we have one, two. Remember, each time I'm only using three quarters of a foot at, per time. And we're just going to keep going right down the list until we get all the way to the end. Oops. Ah, there we go. This is interesting because now I can't make a full board here at the end. I need to go one more. See that? I need an extra board here. This is missing. So I can't use that red, that last red one. Okay. All right. So, um... Let's answer actually the question, right? And the question is, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I cannot count that last board because it wasn't a full piece. So I have ten boards, don't I? Ten, ten, yeah, I guess I could say ten boards have been cut, right? that she needs, 10 pieces. After she cuts her boards, how much lumber will be left over uh, from the eight foot piece? Well, that's this, right? Let me use a different color, whoops. Let's use this, that right there is what that will be, how much is left over, and that is one half of a foot, right? What part of a three, four, three quarter foot board is this? Okay, that's a important part for us to understand is how much of a three-quarter foot board is this, right? Well, if you take a, a look at that, right? I, uh, out of that three-quarter foot board, I have one, two, three quarters, right? I'm gonna try to highlight them in yellow, so it's a little bit one, two, three uh, quarter foot boards. But I only, I only have one, two of those, right? So I have two out of those three pieces. So this is, to answer this question, I have two-thirds of a board left. Two-thirds of a board left, right? So we're going to represent this with a division of our sentence. We had an eight-foot board that we divided into three-quarter foot pieces. Right, Three-quarter foot pieces. What did we get? We got ten boards with not a half a foot left over, but two-thirds of a board left. So boards, that's what I'm going to say that or pieces that we needed for that, right? All right. Dora's dollhouse part two. All right. Dora's taking a closer look at her blueprints and figured out that one eight foot board is exactly three fourths of the length of wood she needs for the whole project. What length of wood does she need for her project? Work with your team to use the diagram below to help make sense of this. All right. So this is an interesting part because what makes this interesting is um, kind of like the pizza ones in the last one, right? We had three pizzas that were, or no, three pies, and they were at the bakery, and we had to cut them into eighth-inch pieces. And, and then the second problem said, hey, three pies is one-eighth of the, the pies needed for the day. Well, in this one, we took an eight-foot piece and divided it in three-quarter-foot pieces. Instead, here, what we find out is the eight-foot board is exactly three-fourths the length of the wood she needs. So if I think about it like this, this is, let me see how well I can do here. There we go. 
This is one fourth of what she needs. This is another fourth of what she needs. Another fourth of what she needs. And guess what? I have, I need a still another one fourth. Right? That's the question mark. So how much does she need for that whole project? Right? So we have to keep in mind that this piece, it's a little bit darker here. This piece right here, right, is the uh, 8 divided by 3. Now, where did we get that from? Well, the 8-foot piece is that full 3 quarters, and it's one third of that piece, right? Or 8 times a third, right? Because it's a third of that is 8 thirds, right? And this turns out to be 2 and 1. Nope. No, no. 2 and 2 thirds. There we go. So that's at two and two thirds, which actually I didn't do too bad of a, a job lining that up, right? So we're going to double that to get to this one, right? So we're going to say two and two thirds plus two and two thirds is four and four thirds, which equals five and one third. Uh, I didn't do as great mark in that one, but I did okay. Five and a third feet, right? Feet, feet. So, of course, what happens? Well, we add, you know, five and a third plus two and two thirds, right? Another two and two thirds. And what do we get? We get seven and three thirds, which is eight. That's not a surprise. So what do we get at the end? Well, this one is eight plus two and uh, I'm be going, two and two thirds, right? Which is ten and two thirds feet needed. And you know what's weird? That exact same answer, right? But we look at it in a different way. Ten and two thirds of a foot. So, our feet total. All right? That looked different, though. Boards up above, feet down below. Represent the si situation with a division number sentence. Well, we have eight, and it's three fourths of what we need. And what does that turn out to be? Ten and two thirds, in this case, feet, right? Compare it up above. Well, we just did our comparison, didn't we? In what ways are these questions and answers the same? Well, they're still 8 divided by 3 fourths, and we still get the same answer. How are they different? It's different. Are we breaking it into pieces, or are we looking at the whole thing as just part of it, right? Here, we took the 8 and divided it into 3 quarter foot pieces. Here, 8 was 3 quarters of the whole thing. So it depends on where that three quarters, what that three quarters represents. All right, last question for the day. The Ferndale High School Golden Eagles have a large play field at their school that covers two-thirds of a square mile. One side of the play field measures a half mile long. Dry diagram or models that show this situation. All right, let's do that. So we found out that it covers two-thirds of a square mile. All right, so the area is two-thirds of a square mile. One side of the playing field measures one half of a mile long. All right, done. What operation can you do to calculate the dimension of the other field? So in other words, what is the length of that? Well, let's take a second and let's just reflect back on what we probably would have done a long time ago. If the area of something were 12 and a side length was three, right, what would we do? Oh, well, that's four, right? Why? Because it's 12, or the total area, divided by 3, that side length, to get the 4. Well, this is just encouraging us to use fractions and division in a different way, right? So we are going to use division. And let's write it, write a number sentence for this operation. Okay, so we have the total area, 2 thirds, just like we would have had the 12 way over in the far left. And we have to divide 12 divided by 3. So this is going to be 2 thirds divided by 1 half. What's the other dimension of this playing field? Well, if we kind of think back to what we did in the previous one, we started to make a little bit of a habit, although it might be hard for us to visualize, um, that we, we kind of took and we multiplied this, the 2s. In this case, it would be the 2s. But we have this weird 3 in there, right? Well, let's try it once and see what happens. Well, when we do it, we have 2 times 2, which is 4. And 4, what do we do? Just put the 3 there? I don't know. It's a question mark. But let's think about it for just a moment. What if it were 4 thirds, right? What if it was 4 thirds up here? 
let's test it, right? Just like, just like up here where we could say, you know what? Three times four equals 12. Let's test it down here. Four thirds times one half hopefully equals what? Two thirds? Let's see. Four times one is four. Three times two is six. And we divide them both by two. And what do we get? Two thirds. Ha! Ah, just like we expected, right? So, <clears throat> just think about it, right? Two thirds um, was is half of what we were looking for, right? So, keep thinking that through in different different ways. So, all right. Hopefully, you have a good day. Let me know if you have questions.